Hi all, I am Rashmi Elias from Freshersworld.com. In today's video, I will be giving you some shortcuts to solve some of the common questions based on the topic time and distance quickly. This will be helpful for everyone who are preparing for various government exams. This video is sponsored by An Academy, and after a small video, we will start our classes. As we all have heard, a student is only as good as his teacher. Now, I want to introduce you to a few of such great teachers. You have educators who are competitive coding experts like being 7 star coders on Code Chef like Nishay Manwani, ICPC world finalists like Deepak Gaur, Himanshu Singh, Arjun Arul and have cracked interviews for LinkedIn, Flipkart, Google etc. So you know, the people teaching you have been killing it themselves. Why these free classes? For 11 years, Courtship has been helping people become competitive programming experts and now they are ready to teach all. These classes are being taken by the awesome educators we just told you about. You will have access to an exhaustive list of topics curated by the Courtship Academics team and which is helpful for beginners, intermediates and advanced level folks. You can access all these free classes on the go with the mobile app. You have around 60 hours of free lectures being added every week. So you can check in the description for the links of all the free classes scheduled and also to check out the star educators. Use code FRESHESWORLD for unlocking free classes and 10% discount on subscription. Let's get started. First question. A person walking at 4 by 7 of his usual speed reached his office late by 9 minutes. Find his usual speed. This question you can solve using the normal method that is speed is equal to distance by time. That is S1 is equal to D1 by T1 in the first case. And for the second case, speed is 4 by 7 times that of the usual speed. That is 4 by 7 S1. D2 is same as D1 itself. And T2 is he was late by 9 minutes. That is he took 9 minutes more. So after substituting for all these values and solving for T1, you will get the usual speed. This method is time consuming. So I will explain to you a shortcut so that you will get the answer quickly. Here a fraction is given, right? That is the speed is 4 by 7 times that of the usual speed. So first step is to take the difference of the numerator and denominator. So here the difference of numerator and denominator is 7 minus 4 that is 3. Here the time given in the question is 9 minutes. So you just divide this time with the difference of the numerator and denominator that is 3. 9 by 3 you will get it as 3. After doing this much the second step is just multiply the answer which we got now that is 3 with the numerator of the fraction which is given in the question. So 3 into 4 that is you will get the answer as 12 minutes. So the usual speed is 12 minutes. Next question, speed of 3 cars are in the ratio of 6 is to 5 is to 3. Find the ratio of the time if they are traveling the same distance. Here the ratio of speed of 3 cars is given as 6 is to 5 is to 3. And we are asked to find out the ratio of the time if they are traveling the same distance. We have a shortcut to solve this question. So what you have to do is to find the ratio of the time taken by the first car. What you need to do is just multiply the ratio of the speed of the other two cars. That is 5 into 3 you will get the answer as 15. To get the corresponding time of the second car multiply the ratio of the speed of the first and third car. That is 6 into 3 you will get the answer as 18. And to find the time taken by the third car just multiply the value of speed corresponding to the first and second car that is 6 into 5 you will get the answer as 30. So you got the ratio as 15 is to 18 is to 30. You can simplify it further so the ratio will be 5 is to 6 is to 10. Third question A can run 60 meters in 12 seconds and 
B can cover the same distance in 15 seconds. By what distance can A beat B? This question also we can solve by using a shortcut. So what you have to do is, it is clear from the question that A took 12 seconds to complete 60 meters and B took 15 seconds to complete the same distance. So from this it is clear that A beats B by 3 seconds. So to calculate the distance by which A beats B is you just need to find the distance covered by B in just 3 seconds. In the question it is said that B can cover 60 meters in 15 seconds. So we just need to find the distance that B can travel in just 3 seconds. So for this you have to cross multiply and equate. So 60 into 3 is equal to 15 into question mark. From this question mark is equal to 60 into 3 by 15. We can cancel out 15 and 60 4 times. So you will get the answer as 4 into 3 that is equal to 12 meters. Means that A beats B by 12 meters. Hope you understood this. So thanks for watching.